America's young women are running out of oxygen. What else could explain why so many of them sound like this? So cute, so cute. I'm now, I'm now, I'm now. Which is kind of like my, you know, motto, you know, motto. Kim and Chloe just don't get it, get it, get it. Believe it or not, there's a scientific term for the way a Kardashian speaks, and it's vocal fry. It's a low, creaky vibration produced by a fluttering of the vocal cords. Speech pathologists call it a disorder that verges on vocal abuse. And here's what it looks like. Uh... Call it a quirk, a trend, or an epidemic. Vocal fry is everywhere. I'm not staying here tonight, tonight. The only reason why I'm going is just to like network, network. A recent study of women in college found that two-thirds of them use this glottalization, which explains why the fry is a sizzling topic in the New York Times. On morning TV... It sounds something like this. Uh... Even for an NPR host. It's annoying. I mean, it's really annoying. When I was a tween in the early 80s, the Valley Girl was born. She brought us like and up talk. And there's been like a general cultural agreement that like that kind of speech leaves the user sounding airheady and unprofessional. But vocal fry is unique because researchers have found that women who talk this way are seen by their peers as educated, urban oriented, and upwardly mobile. You love him and he totally complimented you. He complimented you. Some linguists even suggest that creaky young ladies are evolving our culture as linguistic innovators. Tyler has a pretty good reputation in this business. Business. Well, metaphorically, I encourage every woman to find her voice. I'm dismayed at how low it can go. On my 16th birthday, birthday. I'm burned out on the fry. It sounds underwhelmed and disengaged. It's annoying to listen to a young woman who sounds world-weary and exactly like her 14 best friends.